Um, yeah, today we got uh, announced into the field of 64 for the NCAA soccer tournament. We'll be heading to Central Florida to play UCF. Um, we're looking forward to this. <clears throat> we like our uh, chances going east. It gets us away from this uh, West Coast gauntlet that we have each year in the Pac-12 and uh, get to play somebody new. And uh, we're excited. We'll probably leave two days early and uh, we'll get ready to go on Thursday night. Do you know anything about South, or excuse me, Central Florida at all? Uh, first impressions? Very good team. They've been in the tournament for a couple of years now. Athletic uh, either won their conference yesterday or got in the final. We might have won the regular season, lost in the conference final. So they, they will be a handful for sure. Uh, a lot of Florida based kids. They got some international kids. Um, they'll play soccer. It'll be a little bit like the Pac 12 game. It'll be that type of level um, athletes and a team that likes to play. Is that whenever UCLA helped kind of give the team momentum? Absolutely. I mean, quite honestly, we thought we had the Stanford game, too. So we were one of these teams that uh, has been a little bit up and down due to our young team we have with a couple seniors we still have left here. And uh, But no question, this conference, UCLA, anytime you get that competition daily and a big win like that is going to help us for sure. Yeah, how much does the conference and just the strength of this conference help you guys going into a tournament-type atmosphere? It's huge. I mean, let's face it, seven teams that they got in from the Pac-12. So each day is a war and a battle here. And... Uh, you got to be going every game. I mean, there's no rest in practice. There's no rest in a game, whether you're playing uh, the bottom of the Pac-12 or the top of the Pac-12. Each game is a game. So I definitely think this is something that we'll take into a, a conference that is uh, good. I mean, I don't think they're the Pac-12 for sure. So uh, I think we'll have a little edge on that from that standpoint. What does it mean for your program just to have the, the platform of making it to the, the tournament? It's good. I mean, this is where this program needs to be. Um, you know, this is my third year now. This is our second time making it. The last year we were off, and actually I thought we had a good year last year. But to come back after what happened last year, to get back in this tournament, you know, with uh, a group of young ladies that it's new. I mean, it's all the former Cougs that have made the history and made the tournament from year in and year out are basically gone except for this last senior class. So to start something fresh and new and continue what we've done has been a huge accomplishment for sure. How well, confident were you guys that the at-large was coming? I'll, I'll be lying if I said I went a little shaky today. I mean, uh, it was down to the wire for sure. The UCLA win, as we talked about, definitely helped. The conference helps. Um, you know, you just got to manage yourself in this conference, get above 500. And uh, so I thought that would carry us, but there's no, no doubt in my mind that it was a little scary coming down the wire for sure. So with that scariness, what was the reaction like when you found out you were for sure in? Relieved. The girls were extremely happy. I mean, they deserved it for sure. I mean, actually, my first year we had 14 wins, and this year we only had nine. But this team had bigger wins and in bigger moments in games. So our non-conference was loaded, and then you get into this conference. So I think the non-conference wins and, and uh, RPI points we got helped us a lot today get into this tournament. How do you manage the emotions heading into this game? I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's just, again, you play the Stanford, USC, UCLA. I mean, we're the last two teams in the national champions from the Pac-12. So I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. we got to manage the, the potential heat over there. we got to manage the travel. We'll get out there early and get prepared. But... It's a big game, and these kids are up for that. Yeah, how much does, I mean, what, 30, and God knows what it is out there, but the weather, how much does that affect uh, your preparation? Well, it's probably a little easier playing warm weather. I would ask these girls. They'd probably say the same thing. Um, the humidity might be a little bit of a factor, but, again, we don't make excuses, and uh, uh, I, I think that the fresh air, the sun, is going to be pretty nice for those guys. They'll like it, those young ladies. Defense for you guys has been very strong in the stretch. Uh, how important is that going to be going forward into the tournament? Big. I mean, we, we can't give up goals. Obviously, you got to score to win. But, you know, we had 10 shutouts this year. I'm actually 10 or 11 shutouts uh, out of 19 games. That's pretty impressive. And uh, I think the only team that got two on us was the national champs, I believe, in Santa Clara. So it's going to be huge. You got to you, you can't give up silly goals. And uh, we got a great goalkeeper. We got a back line that's returning. So that's a lot of veterans back there. So we're excited about that. What was the atmosphere you guys sat down for the unveiling? Uh, was it nervousness? Was it excitement? How could you describe the, the, the feeling in the room? I think it was both. I mean, we all thought we, were, we definitely deserved it. It wasn't a surprise when we got in, but you never know with these committees nowadays what happens and how much they value our conference, the RPIs, your non-conference record, your home wins, your, your road losses, or whatever you call it. So uh, we were excited, but we were a little nervous for sure. I would just, uh, how sure have you been by Elise Bennett's player, her coming on really in the last few games? It seems like the first part of the year, she was still trying to find her way a bit, and it seems in the last few games she's really felt assertive up front scoring goals. Yeah, Elise's, I mean, she's 17 years old. She came into school a year early. She's really a 218 grad, came in this year. So you got a young kid that a lot of people don't know about who's 
maturing now, is growing with confidence. I say she's playing like Superman. I'm not going to tell her anything differently right now because she's on fire. She scored a goal against the national champ. She should have had two goals against UCLA. She scored against uh, Arizona State. It was a handful against UW in Arizona. So she's peaking at the right time for sure. And I think the teammates around her is allowing her to gain some confidence. And everyone's gaining confidence with her. So uh, it's been fun to watch. I apologize if this was already asked, but Maddie Haro, uh, upperclassman now this year, talk about the jump that she's made into kind of a more leadership role as well as uh, a more attacking role. Yeah, Maddie was a part-time player last year and I moved to a new position as an outside back. She leads the team in assists. She's played pretty much every minute this year for us in the back. Great leader, great individual defender. One of the most impressive things about Maddie, she's so uh, lethal in our set pieces, her corner kicks, her services and free kicks, her ability to score goals and penalty kicks. So she's done it all. and. Uh, you know, she's grown with confidence again. And, and, you know, anytime you get results individually and personally, then that grows your confidence uh, extremely high for her. Morgan leading the team in goals again this season. What type of jump have you seen her make from her freshman to her sophomore year? And maybe what, maybe what are some things that maybe she kind of struggled with this season? Well, I don't think she's so much struggled is that she's got uh, a better supporting cast around her. So the pressure is not just on Morgan. So now you're watching the leash run by people. They're like, well, I can't forget about this Weaver girl either because that would be a big no-no. And uh, so she's gaining uh, respect in a different way because they have to watch others. When she gets it now, Morgan's doing her stuff. And, uh, you know, she's going to be fun to watch down in Florida because, again, a lot, a lot of all these teams know about Morgan. And uh, you know, she's a confident young lady in front of goal for sure. You think she's one of the best athletes on campus here? Oh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Heading back to the tournament for the first time in two years with a younger team, what does having an experienced goalkeeper like Ella do for you as a coach going into a road matchup? It's great. I mean, Ella's a gamer. She's a winner. Um, she's one of our captains. So she's been there, done that. And so she sees it. So the way she motivates her kids, and you, she leads a lot by example. I mean, this kid is a, a fearless competitor out there in the field. And what she does is a goalkeeper day in and day out on the field and uh, in practice. So, uh uh, they, they, they feed off Ella for sure. I mean, she's a big one for us, no doubt about it.